take me back to the moment when you realized that this was going to massively disrupt your business and change the course of Airbnb's history. None of us were prepared for really a once in a century crisis. Our industry travel has described COVID as as big as 9-11 in 2008, many times over, something more akin to World War II. And when that happened, it felt like I was working on our S1. We were going to file it March 31. And it felt like 12 years of success and, you know, had all these things and life was great. And suddenly in, you know, you build something in 12 weeks and you lose most of it in four weeks. I can't quite describe what that feels like. And it just felt like everything the company broke. I felt like a captain of a ship and a torpedo just hit the side of the ship. Now, travel came basically to a standstill. And in many cases, people didn't want to travel or they couldn't travel legally. It was illegal to rent an Airbnb. What was the lowest point for you? The darkest hour? There were so many dark hours. That's the old like quote attributed to Winston Churchill. If you're going through hell, just keep going. And man, um, I will tell you, the first dark moment was when we had about a billion dollars of cancellations from guests. You also had to cut 25% of the company and you gave, you know, an incredibly generous severance package, your note to the team. I could, I could feel the, the pain yeah. in there, you know, yeah. talk to me about going through that process, cutting 25% of your staff. It was the saddest thing I've ever done in my life, so at least professionally. And we weren't sure if we'd have to do a layoff. And we had to face the hard truth that travel, we did not know when it was going to return. And we knew that when travel returned, it would be different. It would never be the same. You don't think travel will ever be the same? What no, does travel look like? Well, um, I, will, I, I don't know for sure, but here's what I'll say. Travel will be back, but it will look different. What trends are you seeing in Europe, in Asia versus the United States? So United States has been very, very strong. It's, again, I don't want to, I want to clarify, it's, we, we, we cannot declare recovery anywhere because we don't yet know where it's pent up demand in temporary or sustainable recovery. But we've seen a temporary recovery in the United States. Europe, most of Europe, we've seen a recovery, a temporary recovery other than the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, I think, is still locked down until July 1. But France, Germany, uh, Italy, Spain, you're seeing really strong growth. Um, Latin America is not recovered, and Asia is starting to recover, but not yet recovered. So North America and Europe are extremely strong. Latin America, Asia, kind of a bit behind. How much do you think getting back to normal depends on a vaccine, or even then, things are going to be different? Travel as you knew it is over. You're never, ever going to see it again. I'll just say that right there. Travel as we knew it from Valentine's Day and before is over. It's gone. It doesn't mean travel's gone, but that travel's gone. And nobody knows quite what it's going to be because it's really up to the industry to invent the way forward. But again, I think business travel is really, really going to be hit for a while. I think a lot of people are realizing they can do meetings on Zoom. They're rethinking a lot of the conventions and conferences. People are going to rediscover the outdoors. For example, there's 400 national parks in the country. Most Americans have never been a national park. Most Americans don't even know they live within 200 miles of national park. I think one prediction, national parks are gonna be in. People are gonna travel a lot more outdoors. These are things that are gonna happen. And the other thing that I think is gonna happen is travel and living are gonna to blend together. What do I mean? Well, if you can do your job from home, then if you can work from home, you could theoretically work from any home, anywhere in the world, so long as you're in the right time zone. And so what you're gonna to start to see is not just travel redistribution, but you might see, and no one can say for sure, population redistribution. People may start moving to smaller towns and communities. 